Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21, and I'm pretty excited about this one right here. So as you see in front of me, I've got a little visit from the mailman. And we've got a couple big acquisitions that are going to help my channel move along here. So without further ado, let me go ahead and jump in. So I'm going to hand the camera off to my illustrious camera woman, that's my wife. So let's go ahead and jump in. So you see this guy right here. Yeah. I got a nice delivery from Stormer Hobbies and um, Glasgow, Montana. And these guys, you know, if you see, if you see them on eBay, they also have their own uh, website. So you can check them out. But let's go ahead and see what we have here in the box. So this is a true unboxing. I haven't opened this thing up at all. So we're gonna see, we're gonna discover this together. So those of you who've been paying attention to the channel will have noticed that I just listed my old charger. And I did that to make room for this monster right here. And this guy has me really excited. And the reason for that is because well, let me go in. Now, the reason why I had to retire the old charger and let him go away was because he, that charger was only an 80 amp, sorry, an 80 watt charger. So it could only do a maximum of like three watts charging for, uh, for LiPo's. And that just wasn't gonna cut it. So if you look right here, this is an Orion Duo Touch Charger. And this guy can do two chargers, I mean two batteries at up to 10 amps each. And also discharge batteries up to five amps. This guy's a monster. This is probably one of the best chargers on the market right now. Microprocess control, touch screen. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Instruction manual here. You know, a little quick start guide. And a little description to show, you know, description of the balancing board. I'll just go ahead and open this guy up here. And here we have the actual charger. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out. And this guy's a monster. I, I wish I could express you know weight, but this thing is a very, very solid unit. And one of the cool things about this guy is if you look on the side, it is a true dual charger. So I have charging and balancing ports on both sides. I also have a separate DC input so I can hook it up to an, an automobile battery. On the front hand, I have a, uh, this is a USB port so I can plug it into the computer so I can actually download charging data. It has a switching power supply so I can go between, uh, this is 12, 110 volt, and I believe it switch over 220 volt. Um, and then it's got these nice little integrated kickstands, like this right here. So you can have it up at a decent angle while you charge. So, so also in the package, we've got AC power. And this is one of the special things about this charger. It can do a pretty high charging rate uh, on AC power, where a lot of the high power chargers, you need to have a dedicated 12 volt power supply in order to do the real high power stuff. So looking over here, we've got these monster balancing boards. And this, these pretty much have pretty much any type of balancing connector that you would ever want on here. And it's labeled 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S, which is pretty slick. Um, so I got one for each side. We have connectors so I can hook up to a car battery and the dedicated connector here with this on the, on the back of here. And also I have two Dean's connectors and and I believe these are EC3 connectors. They're, they're not, I'll slice in what they actually are. But yeah, so I've got, and I use Dean's connectors as you guys know. So this guy's ready to go for me right out the box. And I also have a USB cord, pretty nice. Okay, so let me pause for a second. I'm gonna plug this guy in so we can see what it looks like. Okay, everybody, I'm back. 
So let me go ahead and plug this guy up so we can see what we're dealing with. So first off, we got this little protective sticker, you know, over the AC, just saying caution. Check the voltage before you actually plug this thing in so you don't accidentally fry it. Okay. Let's put that sticker on the side. Go ahead and plug this bad boy in. This is a standard type of plug. Alright, so let's plug. Alright, and as you can see, we've got a nice little interactive screen here. So let me go ahead and pull out the balancing boards. Here, so the boards plug into either side, like so. Here. And just as a refresher for those who don't know, with lithium polymer batteries, it's very important to have them balanced. It's critical, as a matter of fact. So let's select English. So this is selecting LiPo. And we are doing a three cell. 5,000 milliamp hour. Enter. Okay, and we're going to do charge, even though these batteries are still running. Actually, let's do new data. Alright, so let's back off a little bit. And let me break out the right connection so I can actually connect the battery. So, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and connect my Gen's Ace. 3S and my SMC. I've actually got some theories about these two batteries. So, as always, make sure that you get the right polarities in your connectors. Making these things up backwards would be very, very bad. So, I think you guys know that. But as I started to say, with lithium polymer batteries, balancing them is very important because you want to make sure that all the cells in the battery have the same voltage. If they don't have the same voltage, you start to try to discharge them. Um, you can end up running one battery below the intended battery uh, voltage, and that can cause things to, like cells to die or catch fire. And neither one of those things is very good for your overall state of mind or the quality of life. All right, so this here, both Gen's Ace, SMC, um, 3S LiPo batteries, they're both rated at 5,000 milliamp hour. This one right here is a 40C battery. This right here is a um, 50C battery. So, in theory, this should be the better battery. But, let's go ahead and connect to the 3S connector. The appropriate 3S connector. Right here. Okay, so, balancing port connected. And this battery has a kind of short balancing lead. And then it's connected here. Alright, so it's connected. So let's go to the data. Okay, so these are some of the, now this is my first time seeing this, of course, so I'm learning this as you are too. Alright, let's see if I can, well, let's go ahead and do a charge cycle. Do I have to hold this? Ah, that was it. This was to hold it. Okay, so now, as you can see, it's going through, I'm looking at the screen, you have showing the charging current of 3 amps. And it automatically goes in and sets itself to a charging current. You can go in and you can set, change all these values. So after I play around with this unit, I'll go ahead and do a more in-depth in -depth, um, review video showing you some of the features and how everything works together. So as it charges this guy, it's going to be, you know, it's showing you the milliamp hours, basically how much energy is putting into the battery. It's showing you the duration of the charge. It's also showing you how much current is putting in. And after it goes for a little while, it's going to tell you what the resistance is of the battery. And that's going to be a pretty important piece of information because that's going to basically be a measurement of how good this particular battery is. So, right, so let's go ahead and get here. So you see it has two different channels. Now, here it has the 
red channel, which is the red channel and the blue channel. Oh, there we go. So red channel is the battery on the left, blue channel is the battery on the right. So I can see switch back and forth. If I click here, I can increase or decrease the charging current. Don't really want to do that. Okay, let's go back to the blue channel here. And let's go ahead and start this Genzace or the SMC. Sorry. Plugging it up the same way. And now we have the same three cell 5000 milliamp power capacity. Okay, let's go back home. And let's go ahead and start a charge. Let's, let's see if I hold this down. View data, no data available. Okay, so I can go ahead and hold this down and start a charge on this side. All right, so now, see all the same information. Oh, and over here we've got, it's so already got a measurement of 1.6 uh, mega ohms. So now let's go to this side right here. And we still have a measurement on the Gen 6. That's interesting. Okay, so I can go to split screen. Now I can see the data for both batteries simultaneously. So as you can see, this battery the voltage, they're both pretty much full. And we so it's you see the push pushing pretty amount of decent amount of current. So I'll just go ahead and let these guys go and see what happens. So I'll check back in in a little while. Um, but the nice thing about this battery, or about this uh, charger, is that here you get graphical data so you can actually see how much is charging and as I mentioned before there's actually uh, on, on Team Orion's website you can actually download um, software so you can hook this up to your computer and then you can uh, download the data uh, from your batteries and analyze it after the fact so you can get a good idea about you know the, the quality about the uh, the properties of your individual batteries and use that for benchmarking purposes. All right, so this is a quick unboxing. I got one other package over there and I'm gonna hold off on that guy until a little bit later because that actually belongs to something else I have coming. And that is a little bit of a, a little special project that I'm not, I don't think I'm ready to reveal to you guys yet. Don't worry, it's gonna be worth it. All right, so I hope you guys like this and I have a lot of playing around to do with my new little gadget here. But I hope you guys enjoy. I tune in later on for the full review after I've had a chance to acclimate myself to it and really get to under, get to know it myself. Uh, and as always, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and remember the mantra: fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. This is our house twenty-one signing off. Peace.